There he is. Let's go get our food. I like the shrimp. I'm a shrimp guy, but that the sweet chili's good. That's 390. The Mexicali's good too. That's 270. Oh, I'm heading to Velvet Taco and I'm gonna eat good. I'm staying on my diet. I'm staying on my macros. It's not a diet. It's a mac. It's a it's an eating plan, Jason. It's a lifestyle. I would say. It's not really. Oh, yeah. Did you see how I took that? Yeah, you, you like Bro. a champ, like a champ. <laughs> Disappeared. That's that's somebody who who's been overweight for a good portion of their life. Yeah. We're heading over to Fort Worth today to check out the Velvet Taco. Now I've been here a couple of times, and I love it. So. I can't say that I've ever ordered healthy from Velvet Taco. It's always been the best of the best, which are these tacos that are, they're not, they're not Mexican food. They're just not, I'm just being honest with you, but they are delicious. And so we're gonna enjoy that. Now, I'm staying on my diet. I'm staying on my macros. It's not a diet, it's a mac, it's, a, it's an eating plan, Jason. It's a lifestyle. I'm doing my best here. You know, I'm trying to stay healthy in my late 40s and try to squeeze out a couple of extra years of of uh, existence. Not well, not existence. Life. I want to. I want to squeeze out extra life. And so I'm heading to Velvet Taco and I'm going to eat good. But I was told that there is a bite there that you have to taste. And so we're going to enjoy one bite of something that is not in my macros plan. One bite, so it better daggum well be good. All right, we're here. Velvet taco. I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm gonna eat, so when we get in there, we're just gonna figure it out. And we'll figure out the carbs and protein. I'll let you know how much it is and what the calories are. We'll see. starting a new series about eating healthy here in the Fort Worth, Dallas area, making sure that we're, we're staying on point with my macros, but at the same time, Gary, I have to have something good to eat too. So one of the things that we're gonna do is I'm gonna have what's called last bite. Last bite means I'm gonna have whatever I want, but only get one bite of it, so it darn sure better be good. Just one bite. Just one bite. So, but here's the thing, like, it's all about control, right? And one of the things I'm trying to master is the ability to control how much I eat of something that's good, right? It's a battle. It's a battle, especially as we get older because our metabolisms don't yep. do what they used to. And so it's just one of those things where I, I wanna make sure that I'm sharing with you guys what it's like to eat on a macros plan and make sure that you're getting enough protein and uh, <laughs> carbohydrates and fat, not too much fat for me. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has to do that. And so I, that's one of the things I think, Gary, that, that people don't think about. And I don't know, do you watch that? Do you watch your intake have, at all? I have not to this point. Okay. I just more of calories, overall calories, but okay. not to that micro level. And, and not, everybody, not everybody has to, but for people who really gotta watch what they're eating, it's, it's really important to understand what you're putting into your body and whether that affects you positively or negatively. For me, I tried keto, and like keto was a wrecking ball to my system. My digestive system went, no sir, no sir, that's not gonna work. And I really did give it an honest effort. For those of you people who said, well, you know, you just didn't do it long enough, trust me, I did it for a year, and I, I did see some results as far as weight loss is concerned at first, but then it plateaued. And now on top of that, my digestive system went, oh, you're gonna hate life for the next six months. So now I'm on a low fat plan. For me, that works. So this is all about finding your place on balance of protein, fat, and, and carbohydrates. So I think you can tell which one's the, the, uh, 
chicken and waffle right there. Huh? Awesome. Oh, these look amazing. You got like a waffle cone for, uh, for your, um, they didn't give you corn or flour, it's waffle No, cone. it's waffle. I, have you had that before? It's awesome. So I've heard about it, I've never tried it. So right here we've got the, this is this is the shrimp. The shrimp one, yep. It's got a little spice on it and uh, looks like a chipotle medley mayo. thing yeah. on there. Some, some uh, tomatoes and then a corn chutney. And then this salmon looks amazing too. It's the red got, peppers look great. And so the salmon's with corn tortilla. I think this one's with flour. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care anymore. I used to like, if it's not corn, I'm not gonna eat it. Mm. Anyway, so this looks good. And then you got... I got the Mexicali shrimp. So that's a fried shrimp. Fried shrimp, and then I got the burger. Okay, so the is that? Oh, that's the it's one. A, it's a grilled burger. It's like a hamburger and a taco. Yeah, but it's a special meat, isn't it? It's a... It's a Kobe beef. Kobe beef. Oh, excuse me, Kobe. Kobe beef. <laughs> you gotta say it right, Gary. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna give it a shot. You do your first try one bite? Or... Yeah. My yeah. first bite is gonna be of the... First bite, healthy bite. It's gonna be of this spicy shrimp. Ooh, I almost mm. lost the shrimp here. All right, we're going, we're going in hard though. Mm -hmm. So good. Brother. These are good tacos. So, lots of spice on the shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's grilled. I get that, that corn. Mm -hmm. The sauce is incredible. It's all good. Okay. You tell me how that is 260 calories total. Right, they do something special Bro. with it, I guess. That's, Bro. that's good. That's a good. There may be lies happening. In the, in the, in the <laughs> Might you be. Try one of yours. What, what would you What do you think of this? This one was great. It's a It's a fried shrimp with a little bit different um, tomato-based sauce. That's phenomenal. Okay. It's not the healthiest because it's fried, but it, you can also ask for it to be grilled. Okay. All right. So I've had I've had that burger one. It's one of the ones I typically order. Okay. Now you're going with the salmon. The salmon. Okay, this one looks healthy. Like if I, I was looking at something, I'd say, okay, well, this is healthy. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's grilled, it's grilled salmon, uh, got a little cabbage underneath mm -hmm. it. It's fresh, which is surprising. Okay, I don't like that nearly as much as the shrimp. Shrimp's good. I'm gonna be honest. They do a good job. Well, you, you're the one that turned me on to the shrimp. I was just trying to do good by the salmon. But salmon's got those omega threes, and that's so important, right? All right, I'm gonna. I'm you're gonna, doing it. It's for the last bite. I'm not gonna eat anything after this. So this is it. This is the. Oh, look at that. I don't even know if I can pick this up. All right, there you go. You see it. It looks like a chicken fried steak. It does. It does. All right. Wow. You know, you're going to be okay with me taking a bite. I'm going oh, yeah. go, no, no. in. No, I need you to. I'm going in soon. hardcore go. on this thing. Go. This is all my favorite. It's, it, that tells us it's good. It's, sorry. Okay. Last bite. Wait, I gotta get a little bacon. Gotta get the bacon. <laughs> Thoughts, Jason? Here's what surprised me. They've got cinnamon in the actual waffle. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the sweetness from the cinnamon waffle cone thing. But it's not crispy. I wish it was crispy. Okay. If it was crispy, of course, I know you can't because it's got to be able you to gotta grab a little around the thing, yes. But maybe like a double, double uh, wrap or something. But the, the chicken's excellent, sweet and salty, always a good combo. You, it's it's forward on the cinnamon, which is surprising because you're, you're getting that gravy and the, the yep. salt from the, the bacon. That's a great bite. Would it be the last bite of my life? I Probably hope, not. I hope not. No. I, well, I mean, like in general, like right. today, right. for sure. Yes. But but in general, like this wouldn't be my very last bite of my life, but I wouldn't be mad about it. I mean, I wouldn't be like, oh, that was a crappy last bite. That was a decent bite. Decent bite, yeah. Decent bite. All right, so here we are. We're at Velvet Taco. We're on 7th Street in Fort Worth. If you haven't tried it, they actually have multiple locations. This is a franchise or, All over or DFW. A, multiple locations. I know they, I, that, I believe they even have them in Houston. And if you need a, a roof, 
Call Gary on Titan Pros. He's got your back. Well, your top. He's got your top. Whew. Wow, that was a very good meal. All right, guys. So I wanted to talk to you about what lunch was for me. Was it the best, most healthy meal I could possibly have? No. Was it better than what I could have had if I'd have stayed in there very long? That The answer is yes. Okay. So we ended up with roughly 490 calories and we had, I believe it was 30 grams of carbs, 51 grams of fat, and 16 grams of protein. Protein was pretty low. I really feel like it was probably a little bit more protein than that. And I wasn't really happy with that much fat being in the lunch. And it really puts me at a damper for the day because I've got to really, <laughs> I've got to clam up the freaking fat for the rest of the day, which means it's probably chicken breast and protein shakes for the rest of the day. That's okay because the chicken waffle was really good. And for a last bite, I have to say pretty darn decent. Would it be what I would want? No, but it wasn't bad. And when it comes to food that's not that great for you, well, sometimes it's better to have the things that are even better. I actually love the Diablo shrimp, Mexicali shrimp or whatever it's called, better than anything else on the menu. And it was one of the most healthy things I had. So you just never know. Sometimes healthy is better than uh, not healthy for you, at least in uh, flavor and in your lifestyle.